Okay, this is an older model, Volkswagen, steering ignition, um, cylinder, sorry. Um, and the dealer will tell you that these, you cannot re-key, you cannot change the bidding, anything like that. And in fact, if we look at this one, I think it's actually got a code on it, which is one of the few that I've seen. Um, okay, so when this sits in the ignition, um, this points down at your knee. So what I do is I drill a hole. There's a parting line. It's real small, but there's a parting line. Drill towards this side of the cylinder. And what we're going to do, it's kind of hard to see, but we're going, you just drill it through till it pops through the metal and then you'll see the actual cylinder. And I'm going to put it in a vise. I'm going to pop this off and I'll show you what we're doing. Okay, I know it's not the best pictures in the world, but do you notice how this cylinder is cocked? What you do is you start it, you hold down, there's actually like a big C-clip in there, and you spin it around holding that down. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go around, eh, right about there. You can kind of see how this thing is cocked in there. And I'm going to pop that last bit and then we'll show you what we did. Okay, so we've got the cylinder out from the antenna retaining ring. And if you look down at this, you can see what we did. We drilled a hole. And actually you can see the markings right there where we drilled in. And what we do, we hold this C-clip we push this in with a pick, spin it, and then we pop it out. And it, it sometimes can take a couple of tries. And sometimes, you know, if you're old like me, sometimes you lose it and have to start over again. But hey, the big deal is, let's see if I can pop this out. You can see the ring. You can see the, the uh, groove in there. That's what holds this on. And that's why, if you look, we're pretty well centered on that. That's why I say, if you see that little part line, I go right this side of the part line or, you know, this side of the connection and drill in there. And then you just push this in, pop it off. And now you can pull this out and rekey it if you want. Okay, so here's where I get to do a little voiceover to get this plug out of the cylinder, you have to pick it. So once you pick it, you turn it, and then you're able to get the plug out and rekey it. Always clean these things, they're always filthy. Okay, so we've got our plug rekeyed, and we're ready to put it in. And you'll notice there is a plastic tang that goes in and then you spin it back and once you spin it back it's locked in there it won't come out so once we've done that then we're going to put the anti-theft on there and then we're going to put the ring back on and we should be good Okay, when you're putting the antenna ring back on, you'll notice there's a tang. That tang actually lines up with that. But usually I just kind of spin it on there. And when you spin it on there, line that up. It doesn't hurt it if it spins. Okay, so I've taken a screwdriver and I've pushed in the um, C-clip. And... I wish I had another hand, but I'll push that in and then we'll show you what it looks like at the end. Okay, so we've got our antenna ring on. And just so you know, this is going into a 99 Passat and it doesn't have an immobilizer. But all the ones I've done um, have had a ring on them. So just so you know, um, I think it was right around 2002, 2003, when they went to a later model 
and I'll, I'll pull that out and make a video of it. Okay, you can see the difference. This is the older version, and this is the newer version. You can really see it. Yeah, kind of hard to do this one-handed. But you can see the difference, how big this is. Um, it's the same thing. You drill them pretty much the same spot, and when you drill them, they pop off the same. The body is the same. The only difference is, with this bigger antenna, the shroud, and sometimes when you're trying to fit them into the housing, they won't work. So, just so you know, the older version uses this smaller one, and that works for the non-Emo Cars 2. And we've kind of had a rash around here the last, gosh, I don't know, month or two. This will be the third one I've done. And I have to admit, whoever's doing it has gotten really good. I mean, they're, they're really not destroying the column or anything. They're just destroying the cylinder. And well, they're pretty good at doing that. But we're going to go put this in the car and show you how it looks there. Okay, so we've got our ignition, and you can see the housing actually has a cutout where the antenna is supposed to go. So we now have our ignition that works, and we're ready to go. We're going to put the covers back on, call it good. 